Hi, this is Previn with PipeDream. Today I'll show you how to enter data into the latest version of our params form. The biggest functional change is that expressions are now explicit. To use any expression, include it in double curly brackets. We've also made some other UI changes and introduced a new object explorer. So let's get started. For this example, I'll show you how to send data to Google Sheets, which expects the data to be formatted as an array. So I've gone ahead and set up a demo workflow with a Twitter trigger and a step to send data to Google Sheets. And all I need to do is specify the data to insert in each column. So first I'll show you how to use structured mode. I'll enter a static value of new tweet, and this value will get added to the first column of every row. Next, I'll use the Object Explorer to insert a dynamic reference. The Object Explorer makes it really easy for you to see all the objects that are currently in scope, from event to process.env with all of your environment variables, to the steps object that has all of the exports from previous steps. For this column, I'm just going to go ahead and insert the created at date. Next, I want to insert the tweet content. I know the name of the key, so I can just search the Object Explorer and insert the reference. Finally, to insert a dynamic reference without the Object Explorer, just add two curly brackets and start typing. You get full autocomplete the same way that you do in code steps. Also, as you can see here, it's really easy to mix text and dynamic content to create custom messages. Next, I'll just deploy and send a test event to validate that the data that I want is inserted into each of the four columns of Google Sheets. Next, I'll show you how to enter data in non-structured mode. Structured mode made it easy for me to specify each of the elements of the array. But let's say I have a step that exports an array and I just want to pass that value through to Google Sheets. That's exactly what unstructured mode is for. So to simulate that, I'm creating a code step and I'm going to return an array with four elements, each corresponding to the data that I entered in structured mode. Next, I'll toggle structured mode off. Then I'll use the object explorer to insert a reference to the return value of the step that I just added. Once I deploy and send a test event, I can see that the output of the newly added step is an array. I can see that the add row to Google Sheet step executed successfully. And I can go to Google Sheets and validate that the data matches the earlier attempt. So I hope that gives you a good sense for how the new params forms work. I also want to give a shout out to the community. We actually made a lot of these changes and prioritized this based on feedback that we got from you. So we just want to say thank you. And if you want to keep hearing the latest news from PipeDream, please join us on Twitter at PipeDream or join our public Slack or GitHub discussion board at pipedream.com community. We can't wait to see what you build on PipeDream. Thanks for watching.